Welcome students and today we are going to learn next chapter of grade 11th accountancy that is final account. Final accounts is the final summary of the ledger balances. After preparing trial balance, the final accounts are prepared. Final accounts, as you can see, is the last step in the accounting process. Trial balance is prepared at the end of all the accounting year to know the balances of all accounts and to test the arithmetic accuracy of accounts. But the basic objective of accounting is to know about profit or loss during the previous year and present financial position. This can be known only if trading account and profit and loss account and balance sheet are prepared at the end of financial year. These are also known as financial statements. The three accounts that is trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet are known as financial statements. From trial balance, the final accounts are prepared and these three accounts are prepared, trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. As these three statements are prepared to give the final result of the business, all these are collectively called as final accounts. Accounting cycle finally ends with these statements as shown here. You can see the accounting cycle transactions. When the transaction happens, it is entered first of all in original entry or original record book. From there, it is classified into various ledgers. After classification into ledger, balances are prepared. That is ultimately termed as trial balance. And from the basis of trial balance, the final accounts or summary is prepared. Trading account is prepared by trading concerns, that is concerns which purchase and sell finished goods to know the gross profit or gross loss incurred by them from buying and selling of goods. During a particular period of time, gross profit or gross loss is the difference between cost of goods sold and the proceeds of their sale. If the sale proceeds exceeds the cost of goods sold, gross profit is made. Otherwise, there is a gross loss. You can see the performa of trading account here. The format of any account is particular amount, particular amount. That means debit side and credit side. On debit side, the first particular is written, that is opening stock, then purchases. If there are any retain, returns, the amount should be written in the inner column and returns are deducted. And final adjusted amount is written on the outer column. Then comes direct expenses and direct expenses like carriage inwards, wages, wages and salary, fuel and power, coal, water and gas, octroi, import duty, custom duty, excise duty, consumable store, factory rent rates and taxes, Workers or foreman's salary, royalty on manufactured goods. These all are the direct expenses which are directly connected with the trading concerns. On credit side, there is sales. If there are sales returns, it should be maintained in the inner column. And same way, the difference amount is written on the outer column. The closing stock, that is unsold goods, are also entered here and the difference if expenses or the debit side is more there is a gross loss if the credit side is more there is a gross profit as you can see on the continuation slide so gross profit or gross loss is further transferred to profit and loss account if it is gross profit it is transferred to the credit side if it is gross loss it is transferred to the debit side for non-corporate business organization profit and loss account is second part of income statement 
Let us prepare to know the net loss of business during a particular period. Every businessman has to spend on expenses other than on manufacture or purchase of goods, which are called indirect expenses. There can be other incomes except sales. So gross profit or loss is adjusted keeping in view these indirect expenses and other incomes to find out net profit or net loss. The performer for profit and loss account is, if it is gross loss, it is to be debited. Then all other indirect expenses like establishment charges, administrative charges, selling and distribution expenses, financial charges, depreciation and provisions, any abnormal losses, these are written on the debit side. On credit side, the gross profit, the gross loss is as expense for the business, it will be the it will be on the debit side and followed by all the charges. Gross profit as it is the income, it will be transferred to the credit side and other incomes than sales like interest received, commission received will be entered on the credit side. The difference of incomes and expenses, if incomes are more, it is termed as net profit that will be transferred to the capital under balance sheet and if the expenses are more the difference is net loss which is also to be adjusted in balance sheet balance sheet is a statement that shows all the balances of liabilities and assets throughout the year and on the last day of that particular financial year all nominal accounts are closed by transferring these to trading and profit and loss account. Only personal and real accounts are left. Now balance sheet plays a vital role over here where all the personal and real accounts are entered. Balance sheet is also termed as final phase in accounting cycle. It is a mirror which reflects the true position of the assets and liabilities of the business on a particular date. As for the definition, a statement of financial position of economic unit disclosing as at a given moment of time its assets and liabilities and ownership equities. The performer for balance sheet is like this liabilities and capital, amount, assets, amount. Under capital, net profit is added. If there is net loss, it will be deducted. Drawings are deducted. Then comes fixed liabilities or long-term liabilities. For example, long-term loans, public deposits, current liabilities, that is, that is short-term liabilities unexpired income, short-term loans, trade creditors, bank overdraft, bills payable, and other outstanding expenses. These all compile the liability side of balance sheet. Coming to the asset side of the balance sheet, it will have all fixed assets, that is long-term assets, tangible and intangible. It have goodwill, land and building, plant and machinery, motor vehicle, furniture, all the values should be according to the wear and tear. That is the depreciation should be removed and the actual value on that date should be mentioned on the asset side of the balance sheet. Patents and trademarks, livestock, loose tools, investments, these all are the long-term assets. Coming to current assets, closing stock, that is unsold goods, prepaid expenses, accrued income, that is income receivable, debtors, bills receivable, and cash on hand and both cash and bank. So bank balance and cash balance are also mentioned under current asset. 
the marshalling of balance sheet takes place when both the sides assets and liability sides will have the same totals that is now we will see one example of final accounts basics that is without adjustments where we are supposed to prepare trading profit and loss account and balance sheet here is the question number 11 of your ncrt textbook the trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet is to be prepared the given question consists of trial balance as you can see on your screen opening stock 16000 purchases and sales 67600 that is debit that is purchases and 112000 that is sales that is on credit side returns inwards and returns outwards that means purchase returns and sales returns so you can see the comparison sales returns will be 4600 it will have a negative or a inverse effect and purchase returns will be 3200 how we are going to treat it that we will be seeing in our trading account then there are direct expenses like carriage inwards general expenses bad debts discount received bank overdraft is a liability interest on bank overdraft is an expense commission received income insurance and taxes expense scooter expenses expense salaries it expense cash in hand current asset scooter is asset furniture is asset building is also asset debtor and creditors again two balances are given so it's obviously debit side is data and credit side is creditor and capital that is given 50000 so each and every amount has a specific area or a specific place to maintain its work additional closing stock is given that will have two effects now we will see the trading account on your screen trading account consists of opening stock on debit side given in the sum purchases debit side in our column because there are returns so purchase returns will be deducted net amount will be shown here in the outer column carriage inward that is direct expenses on credit side you can see sales again there are sales returns so it will be in inner column and sales returns will be deducted net amount should be written on the outer column closing stock that is given as an additional information after keeping all these amounts we will make the totals and credit side total is more so the difference amount of credit and debit this will be gross profit if debit side is more the profit will be on profit will not be there and there will be difference here on credit sides and that is called gross loss next after preparing trading account next account is prepared that is profit and loss account the gross profit that was calculated and that was brought in trading account is now transferred to profit and loss account this gross profit is income of the firm so it will be written on the credit side profit and loss account is a nominal account where debit all expenses are mentioned and credit all incomes and gains will be put up so on credit side all the incomes it is gross profit discount received commission received every income will mention or will be credited to profit and loss account and on debit side all the expenses like general expenses bad debts interest on bank door overdraft insurance and taxes scooter expenses and salaries these all are called indirect expenses so again there will be a total 
of both the sides and the difference amount that is still remaining in the firm is considered as net profit okay so here in this particular sum there is a gross profit discount receive and commission from all these incomes we have deducted all these expenses and still the surplus amount with us is called net profit that will be again transferred to balance sheet and added to capital after preparing profit and loss account the next and the last step of financial accounts or final accounts is balance sheet as you can see the format of the balance sheet it has liability side and asset side liability according to the business entity concept business and businessmen are two different legal entities so capital 50000 in that the net profit that was derived from profit and loss account will be added and if there are drawings that will be deducted here in this particular numerical there are no drawings so drawings won't be deducted liabilities on the liability side whether it is current liability or long term liability every liability will be put up here here in this sum we have creditors and we have bank overdraft coming to the asset side we will write all the fixed assets here that is building furniture scooter fixed asset that is remain that remains in the firm for a longer period of time and then current assets like debtors closing stock cash in hand now when we talk about current asset it means it has a life for a time duration of less than 1 year in the business okay after preparing the balance sheet the most important thing that is to be done is marshalling of balance sheet marshalling of balance sheet that means the total of asset side and total of liability side should be equal once this marshalling of balance sheet is done this shows that your answer is correct that your financial statements tallied and you have done the sum very correctly i hope by, by this example the basic of final account that is part 1 of financial statements is clear to you thanks for watching